everyone. It's Nona Grace. And I feel like I'm sitting crooked. Okay, there. I feel like I'm a little better. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. Where am I from? I'm from Western New York. Like. <laughs> yeah, he didn't catch it last time. But that's okay. So Marnia did. Mm. And, um, okay. Today, hi, everyone, again. I'll just do it again because I'm thrown off. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Okay, I want to talk about a few. Th I know <laughs> this is so sad. I want to talk about a few things that I forgot to mention yesterday. First of all, I had asked a question from Florentin, and it's Florentin Tice T I S E or Tis. I don't know how he says his last name, but it's T I S E. I will put the link in so you can find him. But anyways, I'd asked him, how do you know what your guitar is made of what wood and he suggested that I look online and maybe through eBay or if I could find the exact model it might tell a description of what it was made of well I did find it and the top of my guitar is made out of spruce and I'll show you that I gotta this this part is made of spruce the top is made of spruce um, the mahogany is the, the back and the sides. sides. The back is mahogany and the sides are mahogany. And then my um, neck is the okumi. 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 I don't know. It's some kind of wood the neck is. And it's and um, I have a, a, a fret and sound, fingerboard and a bridge. Are I don't know what they are, but anyways, I have those. <laughs> so and it, like I don't know. And it was made in 1960. Now, when I looked online, and it's a steel reinforced neck. This has a steel reinforced neck. It says it at the top. It says it right here. Um, when I looked it up, now I paid $20 for this because it was a student guitar and if you notice they even put the the letters of the strings on there. This, this is actually from when the student had it years and years and years ago. It was back in 1981 or 2 or 3, somewhere in there is when I got it. And the guitar, I paid $20 for it. Now, when I looked on eBay, they had one for a hundred dollars, and when I looked on the site to where they bought these, it was a hundred and sixty dollars. So I really got a good deal, and it's got a nice—I think it's got a nice tone. Whether it's in tune or not, that could be argued, probably. Um, I'm going to probably turn the the. I had a request. To show the fingers, I'm going to turn the camera downward so that you can see. But I'll do I'll do something else first. I got to do this part first. May I have that other piece of paper too? My assistant, my my um, <laughs> Vanna. <laughs> Somebody called you one time. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was Puxatoni Phil and Dunkirk Dave. Now they're the groundhogs that they go by to tell us whether we're going to have a early spring or more winter. And it's six weeks no matter what. And both of them, Puxatoni Phil and Dunkirk Dave, saw their shadow. So that meant we were supposed to have an early spring. Well, I could have told you that because our lake never froze over. So those of us that live by the lake, we, we can gauge whether our spring is going to be early or late. Because if there's a lot of ice on the lake, it takes them a long time to remove the ice boom. And we have a late spring. Whereas this year, there's no ice so I don't think the ice boom is going to make any difference I don't even know if the ice boom was is yeah in. there it's is in. a little bit of ice but not, a lot. not enough to make yeah. a difference it's going to be an early spring <clears throat> okay that I wanted to mention and also Mondays is meat Monday for those of us that are doing the animal products only and I'm one of those people. And I'm going to tell you the other people that are doing this. And I will put their links in the description too. So if you want to find them 
And what it is, is it's, a, it's basically a lot of keto people that are doing this. But I'm doing it with them. And, um, keto and carnivore. Yeah, it's meat only. So the carnivores, of course, do meat all the time. Mm -hmm. But the keto, we yeah. don't always. We do other stuff along with it. But it's Mama Does Keto, Keto Marnie, Seattle Sapphire, Low Carb World, that's Aretha, Nona Grace, that's me, Von Chile is Von, OK Keto, o -O -H, I think it's Ohio, I don't know what it would be, it's Christy and Miranda, and TN, TN Keto Mama, Keto Fat Girl No More is Teresa. Kimber Keto Light is Kimber, or Kim, I call her by her real name, but, you know, she likes to be Kimber, I guess. Um, Brown Girl Life, Angie. Now, Angie is also doing, I wanted to mention that also yesterday and I forgot, but Angie, that's Brown Girl Life, is she's doing a 1 million steps in six. For those of you that want to walk, this is this what it is. Is it's supposed to be getting a million steps in six months? Now she breaks it down in a in by the day, by the week, by the month, and um, she, I can link that link to so you can find out how you're supposed to do that if you want to join us, and you can join at any time. I'm going to probably have to do mine by the month only because I'm not getting those steps and so I'm going to have to really hustle at the end and try to get those steps. And I heard a quote today that I kind of wanted to share and it was um, because I watched the um, Ellen DeGeneres show and it had a, a person that was, I don't know what he was, I forgot, he was... Degeneres. Degeneres show. She's not a degeneres. Degeneres. <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> the quote was, and I don't know who, who said it because it's an unknown. Always have positive thoughts. You never know who can read them. Now, he was a mental, a mentalist. That's what he was. He was a mentalist, and he could read your thoughts so you have positive thoughts so in case there's a mentalist in the area they'll know exactly what you're thinking so have positive thoughts okay now we'll tip the camera down and I'll let you see my fingers okay now this is a song that my father used to play and he used to play it on the mandolin so I'm just gonna finger the notes but if, if you were on a mandolin it would be the the double the double strings and it would be that sound but I'm not going to be doing that sound I'm just going to play the notes Now this is the second song that he used to do. I don't know what these are. They're Italian songs that I have no idea what what they are. songs that my father used to play on the mandolin and he used to sing the Italian words but he sang so off-key that oh that toilet paper's in the view well. that's not good <clears throat> move that out of there well hello to the my world <laughs> you can flip it back up <laughs> that was in there oh gosh okay that's me again <laughs> Well, you know, I used toilet paper. I mentioned it one other time, and it was plain as day in this video. Well, I think that was everything I wanted to mention. So I hope you all have a great day, and 
I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!